Hey there, welcome back to Caffeine Confessionals. We are here again for another Espresso Shot Double Agents player preview. It's five things you need to know about two-sport Olympian Lolo Jones. Number one, in terms of stats, Lolo is 38 years old. That makes her the oldest rookie in challenge history and the same age as 14-season veteran Anissa Ferreira. Add in that she's 5'9", 133 pounds. Also, this is the lowest she's weighed in years. She knew on the challenge that there'd be long distance running, and thus she has cut weight recently. Number two, Lolo's main sport that she's known for is being an Olympic sprinter, specifically in hurdles. In the 08 Olympics, she was supposed to win the gold medal. She was favored to win, even came in first place in the semifinals, almost set an Olympic record there. And then in the final round, on the final hurdle, her foot clipped the hurdle and she stumbled and she finished in seventh place overall. It's heartbreaking because she was a world champion sprinter and on the biggest stage, she just stumbled. And that's heartbreaking. In 2012, she was a contender again, but finished in fourth place, just short of meddling again. And it was really heartbreaking because she was someone who had a public profile for a long time. Also, Lolo had a public profile, one, because she was an awesome sprinter, two, because she's a gorgeous human being and people would put her on the hottest athlete list all the time. Number three, only a few months after her loss at the London 2012 Olympics, Lolo began training in the sport of bobsled. People suggested for her to pick it up because she's naturally, you know, one of the fastest people on the planet, ridiculously strong, and she was able to make the Olympic team and compete at the 2014 Winter Olympics. Unfortunately, once again, coming short of a medal, finishing in 11th place. Lolo's appearance on the bobsled team gained some criticism from the media, saying that she was only on the bobsled team to get more attention on the sport of bobsled because Lolo had a lot of notoriety as both just an attractive human being and such a controversial sports figure in the sprinting world. Regardless, she's a very talented person and deserves that spot on the Olympic team. Number four, Lolo is a devout Christian and a known virgin. It's part of the reason why she's so famous because Lolo is one of the most gorgeous human beings on the planet. Add in the fact that she's a world-class athlete and then mix in that there's this weird fetishization and criticisms of what being a virgin is in modern society, especially as Lola gets older and older, it becomes just a bigger and bigger topic that's just behind her. And people will always ask like, are you still a virgin? To which she will answer yes, because she's saving herself for marriage. And number five, Lolo has experience on reality TV. Her first foray was Dancing with the Stars in 2014. Unfortunately, she didn't have a lot of rhythm and she got eliminated the first episode. Her next foray was 2017, the challenge champs versus pros, where she actually won three eliminations in really dominant fashion. And she won them in like wrecking wall, balls in, a, ver a variation of not so fast. Lolo is a great athlete and she's gonna kill it on the challenge. In 2018, she appeared on Celebrity Big Brother where she made it all the way to the end, uh, getting eliminated on finale night, finishing in third place. And now she goes into the challenge house and it's gonna be way different because being in a house with other celebrities there's, you know, a sportsmanship to it almost. Whereas in the challenge, you got people with like barely any followers or barely any following who want to get in a fight with Lolo to gain followers for themselves. They'll want to be in newspaper articles where it's like Olympian Lolo Jones fights with Liv Jawando. And people are like, who's Liv Jawando? And they're going to find out through this. Can Lolo win? I mean, the assumption is yes, because she's an Olympian and I saw her kill it on Champs vs. Pros. But it's the house element. Can't she handle... You know, people messing with her for no reason. Can she deal with people instigating her and just getting on her nerves 24-7? If she can handle that, then yeah, she can win. But that's a big if, because Lolo is a very outspoken person. She doesn't take a lot of shit. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.